Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. As far as some people are concerned, uh, Locker Gnome and Gnome Dex and Gnomies are Chris Perillo. And Chris Perillo are all of the above. And all your base are belong to us. <clears throat> I have a strong personal brand, I would say. Uh, I've asked this question of the YouTube audience before. If you could think of three keywords off the top of your head, what would those keywords be? Uh, geek, technologist, and, and potentially, well, here, I'll give you a hint for another one. There's, there's, what about, uh, you know, ooh, there's another Lego thing, and another bricks there, and, and you got, oh, no, this is, uh, I, I just got all these yesterday, by the way, from uh, one of our uh, partners, Bull Market Toys, and in case you wanted to save money on your next purchase, you can save 10% by using the coupon code CHRIS10P with free shipping and handling for all orders over $25. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> what words would you use to describe me? That is a part of my personal brand, whether I mean it to be or not. And having a strong personal brand is really the future for you as someone who is in the workforce and possibly looking to change the career, uh, or uh, if you haven't started your career and you're looking to gain some headway and some traction, creating a personal brand for yourself is a long and sometimes arduous process. It's not simple. You don't just put up a website and magic happens. It's like I say uh, very frequently, specifically in relation to expertise, you can't call yourself an expert. Other people can call you you an expert, but you can't call yourself that because it, it just doesn't hold as much weight, honestly. So in terms of building your personal brand today, and that is, my name's Chris Perillo. You can't be Chris Perillo. You can do things like Chris Perillo, but you want to be yourself. Trust me, the world can only take one of me. So if you're looking for ways to start building your personal brand today, Kelly Clay on LockerGnome.com has written the article that we've linked in the description. Check it out. Hopefully you like it, and I'd hope you like this video too. I'm going to go ahead and plus one tweet and like it. You can do that really easy. We put the buttons for you right there on the webpage. You can click in the description. Uh, number one, it's probably the most important thing. Define your niche. That's huge. You might think, oh, I want to be the world's biggest geek. The geek image is a good niche, but it's still a bit broad. Uh, so a lot of people say that I'm an iOS geek because I have an iPhone and an iPad. That's, that's niche -y. but I do also like some things that are happening in the mobile space that aren't in Apple's camp. So, uh, if I talk about more than just Apple's products, well then maybe I'm a, more of a Renaissance geek, but a geek nonetheless. Not so much a computer geek as some of you might be. I don't know if that's really a part of my personal brand. I really wouldn't be the one to say. You know, I am more defined by how you perceive me than the way that I project myself. Think about that for a second. If someone has a problem with you, it's probably more of their problem than it is your problem. And branding works the same way, especially in the personal space. I'm genuine. I'm legit. This is me. This is what you get. I lay it on the line. I'm as transparent. If I was any more transparent, you would see through me, which I realize you probably want to do to... Take a better gander at the screensaver that's running there. So, uh, defining your niche is important. Sometimes you may not even know what your niche is, and your niche may evolve over time. Your interests may get shared over time, and that becomes a part of your personal brand. The more specific you can be, the better. Website, of course, is going to help you deliver that information, uh, but you, know, you could also be better served by participating in conversations throughout other online communities and social media outlets. Number two, read. What is everybody else doing? Where is the conversation headed? And more importantly, are you a part of the conversation? Uh, you know, you would think that you had problems if people were talking poorly about you. You have bigger problems if people aren't talking about you. You want to have people talk about you, good or bad. You want them to form an opinion. Uh, you know, I, I've said this many times. You can be upset at me for something that I've done or said. Uh, we can disagree. Uh, you, you, you are free to do that. Uh, but I would rather you sit on one side or the other. Being in the middle, I'm not a fan. Uh, I either want you to like something or really not like something. And I hope you like, you know, the information that we have to share either in this video on any post on LockerGnome.com or beyond. But it's to keep that conversation flowing. Having a website or a blog 
it's a given, but we do detail, uh, you know, a bit more about why you would want to do that. And we even quoted from a few personal branding experts. So it's not just me sitting there just giving you my information. We actually went out and talked to real people who deal in the personal branding space. Uh, you know, and I think we, we've got the full five tips, including, you know, the social networks, as I alluded to a couple of seconds ago, uh, rounding it out with maintenance. You can't just put a web page out there and expect that it's just going to live forever. Uh, you have to maintain your brand. Uh, Inbalance by Design on YouTube says, I'd like to create a strong personal brand. What did I say at the beginning of this clip? I said it, it, it could be a long process. You can never stop. People ask when I sleep. I, I, I don't. And even when I am sleeping, I'm still thinking. Uh, you have to maintain that velocity. Even when you think you're finished, no. Uh, what have I also said about uh, what is the best operating system and the best gadget, best is relative? I've also said that there is no number one in a race that never ends. And it's still very much true with your personal brand. Uh, you know, we've shared other tips and can share specific tips in helping you build your personal brand. We offer this as a courtesy for all of the registered Nomis. Uh, you can become a registered Nomi by heading over to nomis.com. You can do it right now and we can start helping you put a finer point on it. If you didn't get enough from the article and you need just a bit more guidance, hey, that's what we're here for. Uh, you know, if anything, we are trying to help you succeed in your efforts. And I would hope that's one of the reasons why you decided to view this video. And again, I hope you like it.